my game and, and you know the right coach and the right college would come and make themselves known that they wanted me Think enough outside going into the NBA I'm too small not athletic enough can't play defense not strong enough I was nervous um, obviously making that transition is a big deal. Curry from Davidson College and so from there you know that's what I'm walking to into as a bright eyed twin Curry wing jumper good he doesn't need a screen there with Butcher Sir, what do you want your lasting legacy to be? A consistent player that made it to that all-star level. And, uh, you know, we win some championships. It's all about winning. That's why we play the game. So, um, you know, a guy that did it the right way and, and was very consistent every night he played and gave it his own. Appreciate it, Chris. But in the next two seasons, chronic right ankle problems would force him to miss 48 games and undergo two surgeries. Every question I got was, you know, how are your ankles? You know, are you going to be, you know, that pseudo Grant Hill story or were you have an injury that kind of holds you back from reaching your full potential? Injuries are frustrating in general and to be like, obviously everybody, every team wants to be at full strength uh, at the biggest moment. My passion for the game of basketball is a high level just because of the amount of work you put into it, um, you know, what the game gives back to you, um, you know, the joy that it brings not only to me but people around you. Um, and so just not taking the game for granted and, and really pushing to be the best player you can be and kind of living, eating, sleeping, breathing basketball 24-7. You got to do your work early so that when, once you catch the ball, all you have to do is just kind of jump and release, um, like you've done millions of times in, uh, in the practice gym. Curry to win! Good! Good! When I'm out there playing, I feel like I can do whatever I want to do. And My rookie year, I played against you know LeBron for the first time, and, and uh, he pulled me aside after we played, after the game was over. And he knew, like, he had been in the league for about six years, so he kind of known a little bit about trying to build an identity in the league. And he told me, like, literally, all you have to worry about right now is kind of looking through a keyhole and worrying about, you know, what are you doing on a daily basis? What habits are you building um, that are going to set you up for success down the road when things line up? Are you going to keep this time productive because you're building the right habits and you're understanding exactly what type of player you want to be and really having a big perspective about what it meant to be a warrior and what it meant to represent the Bay Area uh, in the NBA, that I would be ready to lead at that point. And so, um, valuable, obviously, uh, uh, advice from him to, uh, to kind of set it up. And then, you know, f what, f six years later, we're playing in the final. So, pretty crazy, uh, pretty crazy journey coming from humble beginnings, you know, winning 20 games a year to, to where we ended up. Steps back. Oh, -ho! Stephen Curry with some magic. Curry looking for that opening. Steps back. Crossover. Fires away. Wow! Another three from Curry. The dream season is now complete. The Golden State Warriors are the 2015 NBA champions. Their first title in 40 years. It's fun to win. Like, I don't <laughs> care what the narrative is. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, obviously, we're at the front and center of any NBA talk okay. since for a while now. And people ask me all the time, like you said, even from my days at Davidson, like mm -hmm. the underdog mentality was just a part of who I who I am as a player and my leadership style and things like that. Like, do you lose that when you start winning championships? Mm -hmm. And yeah, the narrative changes because you're expected to, and people are trying to knock you off. Right. But at my core and like who I am, that's part of my DNA. So it's easy to tap back into it. Um, I think that's the, the fuel that I always kind of lean